Today, I'm going to show you how to set up this into this using this. A few days ago, I ordered through Amazon a pedal cleat tool. And this is it, I got it. So let's see what's inside the package. There you go. This is an SPD pedal cleat tool. Now in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use this to set up the cleats in your cycling shoes. This is the Ergon TP1, the pedal cleat tool for Shimano SPD. This is an amazing and simple tool to use. If you are doing cycling or indoor cycling and you are using cycling shoes, you should use this tool to make sure your cleats are correctly set into your shoes. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you my cycling shoes. And just below the cycling shoes, you can see this is the SPD clit. This allows you to clip into the pedals and to have a better pedaling technique. As you may know, I'm a spinning master instructor and I teach indoor cycling. Many of my participants ask me why they should use cycling shoes. And the first answer is safety. That's number one. And that's why it's so important to make sure that these cleats are correctly configured so you don't injure yourself. When you buy cycling shoes, they're always delivered without any cleats. The reason for this is that you can use any clip you want, depending on the pedals you are using. In indoor cycling, we mostly use SPD Shimano, which look exactly like this, like a little flower. Now, when you buy them in a general store, you have to buy them separately and you have to set them up yourself. If you go to a professional bike store, they may do that for you. And that will be the best situation. But very often you will have to do that yourself. I remember the first shoes I bought, I didn't even knew I had to buy this separately. And then when I started to try to configure this, well, it was a pure nightmare. I had no idea how to do. Often I have participants to my classes buying this type of shoes. And then they don't know how to set it up, so they do it themselves. And then when I see them, they are very often wrongly set. This is why as an instructor, it's very handy to have this tool so you can bring to your class and you can check your participants cleats as well. They will thank you for that. So let me tell you a little more about this pedal cleat tool. As you can see in the outside notice of this tool, there are three settings you can actually configure your cleats on your shoes. The first one is the fore and aft position. The second one is the sideways position. And the third one is the angle position of the cleats. Now let's open this and see what's inside. As you can see, this tool, it kind of looks just one side, but it actually opens up and I can open it up into two. There you go. Well, inside there is a notice and here on top of the notice, you can see there are some stickers and these stickers are going to be useful to measure some things in our shoe and to make sure that the shoe is correctly aligned with the axis. When you open the tool, you can see again here on this side, the three settings I already told you about. The fore and aft position, the sideways position and the angle. So let's open up the notice and see what's inside. As you can see, it's a big, big paper and there is a lot of information here, as you can see. It's all illustrated. So it's pretty easy actually to set this up. Now I'm gonna save you some time so you don't have to go through all of this to be able to use the tool. And it's actually pretty easy. Now I'm going to show you why are these stickers useful. So the idea is that you can take one of those stickers and stick it in your shoe. And one setting is to stick it in the ball of the foot. So you know where your foot is the largest. So if I look at the shoe here, it should be around this position here. But so the best way to do it is to put the shoe in your feet and just check for the largest portion of your foot and just put a sticker there. The second sticker actually goes here in the back to align the sticker with the center of the back of your shoe. So let's do that. 
So you take one sticker and you basically place the sticker at the point where the ball of the feet is. I think it is right there. But the best way is to put the shoe in your foot and identify that mark. Now the second sticker to use in the back, you should just place it in the center of your shoe, right there. It's good if the arrow points down because we are going to use this in the cleat setting tool. So now that we have these two marks, it's a time to start to put our cleat into the shoe. To do this, I'm going to use an Allen key of four millimeters, which is exactly the right size for the screws of the cleat. So what I'm going to do is to, you know, set the cleat in the shoe and attach very slightly the screws. So make sure that you don't tight these screws too much. So we need to have some flexibility for this to move around. As you can see, it can go up and down. It can go sideways and then it can also move in the angle. Now that we attach the clit into the shoe, we're going to use the tool to make sure it's correctly set up. In the tool, it's very easy to use because you have like a one in here. This is for the four and a half position. You have the number two in there for the sideways position and you have the number three in there for the angle. So you just need to enter the clit into the hole. As you can see, there is some flexibility there. I can move it one side and the other. So I'm just going to make sure that my sticker is aligned with the green axis there. And then I can check the mark and then I will do the same on the other side. With the back sticker, I can see if it's aligned with the vertical axis. When you attach one shoe, it's time to just put the other shoe on the other side and replicate the same settings on the other side. I hope you found this video useful and that now you know how to use this tool. If you liked my video, press the like button below, subscribe to my channel and press the little bell so you get noticed about new videos. If you would like me to talk about other subjects or ask any question, please comment on my video below. Thank you and see you soon.